Since we know OTS 17 now, I want to go back through the old OTS packs and pretty much see how amazing to terrible they really are. And let's get right into it with OTS pack 1. So OTS pack 1 was back in Breaker Shadow era with Pepe being around. Some of the cards that you can get are Vanity's Fiend, Masquerade Darklaw, and Bountiful Artemis as the ultimate rares. Some of the notable super rares there are are Drone Lockbird, Reform Pell, Lizard Droll, Skull Corbat Joker, Monkey Board, and Guitar Tool for your Pepe strategy along with Dino Power. Other tech choices at the time were Anti Spell for Agruins, Imperial Order, and Typhoon. Most noteworthy commons in it at the time were Cyber Nova Dragon, Monster Gate, Allure of Darkness, Summoning Curse, Flying Sea, and a couple other cards here and there like Mizuki. So, for the first OTS pack, this is actually a very good OTS pack. I'm going to put it in the good category because it facilitates one deck. It also has P Infernoid Patrulia in the set, but it, Infernoids were getting supers one at a time. Overall, with amazing meta staple reprints and a few other reprints here and there, it is going to be good because it could be better as a whole but it is the pinnacle starting point of OTS packs next up we have OTS pack number two the ultimate rares were Fog King, Kurez Light, Monarch and Raigeki three of the cards that which needed a reprint Fog King was only available as a secret rare last I remember before this point then Kurez the Light Monarch was one of the monarchs that definitely needed a reprint because of how old it was and Regeki freshly just came off the ban list after getting a gold rare in the gold series the previous in this year Gamma Seal the Sea Turtle Kaiju is also a reprint one of the best Kaijus to date along with cards like Phoenix Rhino Warrior System Down Masquerade Restrict and the Prime Monarch for super rares other cards in the set were Infernity Archfiend Cyber Dragon Core and that's pretty much it now, this OTS pack, I would have to say it could have been better. But as a standard of the time that this was in, which was July of 2016, I can definitely understand where they were going for. After that, we have OTS 13, one of the better ones because it had things like Swap Frog, Speed Ray Terror Type, and Super Quantal Mech Beast Grand Pulse. The notable reprints in this were things like Dupe Frog, Ally Justice Cycle Reader, Ignite Reload, Sky Iris, Domain of the True Monarch, Chaos Trap Hole, and Oasis the Dragon Souls. The commons also housed things like DD Crow, an amazing hand trap that sees play here and there, along with things like Uni Zombie and the longer awaited Rare Fish to help out decks like mermails with instant fusion this OTS pack was a pinnacle for the meta because it was helping to push things like zodiac and metal foes so this OTS pack overall was pretty good so far so good after that we have OTS 4 the ultimate rares in this were the best ultimate rares there were being things like number 30 s39 utopia the lightning so Europe had access to the card now, and I believe they had it before as a super rare and a special edition. Then we had Instant Fusion and Solemn Strike, three pinnacle cards for the format. After that, we have the super rares of Metal Foes Volflame, Rowan Toten, Retaliating Sea, Kumungus the Sticky String Kaiju, DD Swirl Slime, and Oblivion King Abyss Ragnarok, with a rarity bump of Blackling Gofu. The Vague Shadow and Union Hanger. Other cards in the set included Barrier Statue of the Torrent and Infernos, Artifact Lancia, Marine Beast is a level 5 instant fusion target for water decks, Super Rail Cannon Gustav Max, and that's pretty much it. Overall, the Ultimate Rares carried the set heavily with a lot of other good utility cards and a lot of great super reprints, and I feel like OTS 4 was one of the more amazing ones since it had something for everyone. After with that, we have OTS 15, the turning point of OTS packs in my opinion. 
First off, we have Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, Zodiac Quicktail, and Terraforming. Three amazing ultimate rares that still see play today. For the supers, we have Dogaran, the Mad Flame Kaiju, Fairy Tail Snow, Sm Spiral Quick Fix, Zodiac Ram Ram, Disciple of the True Draco Phoenix, Lost Wind, and True Draco Apocalypse. That is a majority of the super rares. And for the commons, we had things like Mystic Bull Shineball, the Agent of Venus Creation, Secret Villages Spellcaster, Scapegoat, Grave of the Super Ancient Organism, and Fairy Tale Luna. This set had a lot of amazing hollows, and I remember five being the one that everyone wanted to get, but now it's over demanded and have way more. Overall, OTS 15 I remember being so good that it got people to actually play in tournaments. Then we started going downhill a little, but it's fine. We have our ups and downs. So first off for OTS 6, we have the ultimate rares of Deco Talker, Brilliant Fusion, and Invocation. Deco Talker was one of the first Link monsters to be in the TCG OCG, so it definitely deserved the spot. Next to things like Brilliant Fusion and Invocation, because those two engines were 100%. Uh, being ran at that time, Brilliant Fusion was an amazing ultimate rare because I used to play them and it looks beautiful, along with Invocation, which I still own all three of these. The Super Rares, they house things like Paleozoic Canadia and Eldonia and more Paleozoics here and there. Set Rotation, Black Metal Dragon, which came to see play later on in 2019 forward. Then we also had things like Trickstar Lady, uh, Lily Bell, Overload Fusion, on top of Wind Witch Winter Bell. The commons housed Gem Knight Garnet, the actual Garnet, Predaplant Orpho Scorpio, Dragon Shrine, and Ojama Blue with Phantom Sky Blaster and Gem Knight Seraph Knight. This OTS pack was a mediocre OTS pack, but it did have some implications later down the line. Sadly, one of the one of the ultimate errors are forbidden till today, but one day it could definitely come back. After that, we have OTS 17. This was a interesting one because it had Herald of the Orange Light at the time. No one wanted it. Link Spider, such a nice ultimate error, and Cosmic Cyclone, a meta staple even today. The super errors had Spiral Tough, World Legacy of World Chalice, Destroyer of the Lost Dragons Frisian. Frisian. Fossil Dig, Divine Punishment, Palaeozoic Dinomiscus, Merla, and Lancholia. Overall, Palaeozoics were mostly hollow, and this OTS pack was okay because there's not really that many noteworthy commons outside of Zombie World and Wavering Eyes. So, this is going into the Code Be Better because it could have been better, but it was good for what it was. After that, we have OTS Pack 8, and this housed things like Drone Lockbird, Sky Striker, Ace Kagari, and Scapegoat. Three cards that constantly see play in varieties of formats, and it is a great point to look back to because of how good 2019 really was. After that, we have some more amazing reprints in Underclock Taker, Machine Duplication, Secret Villages Spellcasters as a super this time, and Waking the Dragons, which definitely put fear in people's faces when it gets destroyed. Then the noteworthy commons, we have a Jama Red along with Artifact Moral Tack, both of the Snow Bell and Glass Bell. Then a few nice commons being Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, Axe of Fools, Curse of Forbidden Spells. First seal the forbidden spells and the very first token to be implemented being the Sky Striker Ace token. This OTS pack is more so very well received in the community and it definitely helped a lot of the decks that really needed rarity bumps and given the circumstances it definitely was a nice one to have so I'm going to put it in the good category. After that we have OTS 9 with Elementary Hero Stratos, Trickstar Lyricus, and Sky Striker Ace Suzuku as the ultimate rares. This was the time where Sky Strikers were getting all their links as ultimate rares. After that, noteworthy super rares we have Thunder Dragon Matrix, Reproductus, Card Destruction, Super Polymerization, Sekka Light, and Personal Spoofing. Then, afterwards, for the commons, we have 
the noteworthy Jet Synchron TG Striker, number 107 Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, Silent Graveyard, Imperial Order as a common Silent Graveyard because that was actually a very nice tech card at the time, along with three Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. Overall, I really say this one was good as well because the versatility of ultis and supers that were in the set also with the reprints of commons deck was usable in many other decks. Next up we have OTS 10, one of my favorite OTS packs because the three ultimate rares are Thunder Dragon Colossus, Sky Striker Ace Hayate, and Galatea the Orcist Automaton. These three ultimate rares were part of the three titans of the format out of the four and the super rares were absolutely insane. We had Battery Man Solar, Jizuriku the Star Destroying Kaiju, Salomon Great Sunlight Wolf, Hita the Fire Charmer Ablaze, Orchestrated Babble, Revolving Switch Yard for super rares, then for commons, Breaker of the Magical Warrior, Assault Beast, Assault Mode Activate, along with Assault Mode Stardust. Then on top of that we had Super Quantum Red Lair, TG Hyper Librarian, Number 81 Dreadnought Rail Cannon Dora, and My Body as a Shield. This OTS pack, along with the Trickstar token, gave a lot of versatility for rarities and great reprints. OTS 10 feels like it's one of the more amazing OTS packs that there is to date next to OTS 4 and 5. OTS 11 was the one that is desired by the most because it has things like Dingrisu, the Orcus of the Evening Star, Sky Striker Ace Kaina, and Pot of Desires. The super rares in here were also magnificent with Altergeist Conquery, Subterror Nemesis Archer, Orcist Harpoor, Orcist Nightmare, Aloof Lupine, and Metaverse. The commons also house things like Cyber Dragon, Limiter Removal, Moray Agreed, True Draco Heritage, and True King Return, and Dual Dragon Token. Now this set had a lot of fortune ladies for the OTS pack like Light, Future, Fire, Water, Future Vision, and that makes it go down a little. But the ultimate rares overall and half or even a little more than half of the super rares carry the set to good. I would put it in an amazing, but it has those fortune ladies that no one really wanted a reprint of. Next up we have OTS 12, one of the top tier OTS packs in existence. The ultimate rares were Chaos Dragon Levi Levianir, Twin Twister, and Solemn Judgment. Two meta staples that everyone wanted and Chaos Dragon Levianir for the Dragon players. Super rares had things like Grand Maju Dai, Aiza, Crusadia Leonis, Delmain Great Jack Jaguar, Orcus Symbol Skeleton, Servant of Endymion, Tenyu Spirit, Azahara, and Vishuda, Time Thief Redoer, and Salomon Great Rage. The commons are Gigantes, Sea Archiver, Flame Buffalo, Bufferlo, Salmon Great Fowl, Kaminari Attack, High Speed Ridge Chanbar, Dark Hole, Fire from Ancient Tanky, and the Primal Bean token. This is one of the best OTS packs to date because of how much versatility is in it for reprint. This is what I like to see in OTS packs, and overall, Konami did a great job with number 12. Next up is OTS 13 with Book of Moon, Abyss Dweller, and Trap Tricks for Felicia. Super rares included Deep Sea Diva, Scrap Golem, ABC Buster Dragon, Junk Speeder, Crystal Wing, Synchro Dragon, Bahamut Shark, Where Arf Thou, Spiral Gear, Drone, and Rescue. A lot of great supers. All of them are noteworthy 100%. But then the commons start to lack with things like Spore, Formula Synchron, Ultimate, Ultimate Tazolkin, Muddy Mud Dragon, Bottomless Trap Hole, Dimensional Prison, Floodgate Trap Hole, and the Generator Token. Overall, this OTS pack was pretty good in its era, but uh, the Ultimate Rares are the ones that aren't carrying the set, nor the commons, it's mostly the supers that only see play here and there nowadays. Next up is OTS 14, which I don't have, which the image is right here. OTS 14 is definitely interesting because it had things like Super Polymerization, Toon Kingdom, and Nibiru the Primal Being. The noteworthy supers from the set were things like Parallel Exceed, now a Prismatic Secret Rare in the Megatons, Smoke Grenade of the Thief, which is now forbidden, a Pointer of the Red Lotus, which is always nice to have, and that's pretty much it. You can even count Modolce Mushin Gelato, but 
Um, it's just another reprint here and there, along with Super Quantal Red Lair, which was a common in the previous in a previous OTS pack. The commons, on the other hand, were pretty good, being a Lantean Dragoon, Weeping Idol, Raid Raptor Sing Singing Lanius, the Phantom Knights of Cloak, Demise of the Land, Rank Up Magic, Phantom Knights Launch, Raid Raptor Nest, Icarus Attack, Phantom Knights of Shade Brigandine, and Dual Avatar Token. Overall, this one is could have been better. Uh, it's actually okay at best. So that's one thing to go for. Next up, OTS Pack 15, Arm Dragon Level 10, Dark Requiem, XYZ Dragon, and Christian Halka Fibrax. Already off to a bad start with the Ultimate Nurse. The only one really good is Halki Fibrax. Then we go on to the Supers being Shadal Dragon, Borbo, Barricade Board Blocker, Noctivision Dragon, Proxy F Magician, and Dogmatic Punishment. Then for commons, only really ones that we have is things like DDR, Different Dimension Reincarnation, and the World Legacy token. Other than that, 15 was not that good. Then OTS 16 with Cyber Dragon, Firewall Dragon, and Forbidden Droplets. The noteworthy super rares in the set are things like Tribrigid Nerval, which is now a ultra rare in the Megatons, Geonator Transversor, which is also a super rare in the Megatons, Virtual World Gate Chinglong, Drytron Zeta, and Delta, which are really weird choices. Because Zeta is also in the Mega Tins as well. Now for the commons, it's nothing really much else. So this is really one of another one of the bad OTS packs, but it could be better because you have two of the ultimate errors carrying or no, one ultimate error carrying the set, so yeah, it's terrible. And then finally OTS 17, which I just covered yesterday. If you want to go see that video, you can go check it out. Because OTS 17 is definitely terrible with number 39 Utopia. Impermanence and Blacklisted Soldier in the ultimate nurse spot. The only one that people will really want a place out of is the Imperm. After that, Scrap Raptor is really the only super rare that's. Scrap Raptor and Resonance and Sector are the only two to shout out there. And for the commons, Yazi, Evil Yang Zing, and TG Wonder Magician, Insector Dragonfly, and Dark Smorg. That's not really much. So this is my best and worst ranking of the OTS packs the best being 4, 5, 10, and 12 and then the worst being 15, 16, 17 but anyways I've been Bolt Spider I hope you guys did enjoy and see you guys in the next video